Hey everyone, today I have the Paringer Zio, a Zio beginning storybook. This is a really, really cool thing I've been wanting to go over for a while. So, uh, let's just take a look at the cover here. Really cool artwork on the cover. Take a look at the back real quick. We got a little uh, thing about the story and then some other Zio books. These were really amazing. I wish I had had these as a kid because, like, flipping through this again, this was really cool to, uh, to have, uh, let's see. The thing that makes this really stand out is the artwork. Look at that. That is freaking amazing. Yeah, so the end of, uh, Alien Rangers, the beginning of Zeo. The command center has been destroyed. There's the Rangers standing in the rubble. And, uh, let's see. The mighty Morphin Power Rangers were no more. Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa had finally succeeded in beating the mighty Morphin Power Rangers and destroying their command center. All that was left was a smoking hole in the ground. Billy, Tommy, Cat, Adam, and Rocky didn't have their power coins anymore. With their coins... Uh, without their coins, they couldn't turn back into the mighty Morphin Power Rangers. There was nothing they could do. Okay, a few things. It's kind of redundant to have the mighty Morphin Power Rangers over and over and over again. And also, a neat little detail. If you notice here, Billy, Tommy, Cat, Adam, and Rocky... But Tanya's not mentioned because, yeah, she didn't have a power coin. This is uh, her first time uh, with the team. So this is, like, uh, very, like, in canon, like, in continuity with where the show was. And, okay, I love this artwork here of Rita screaming. Ah! <laughs> that is so freaking awesome. I love it. And I love uh, all the other stuff going on. Let's read the thing. Up on the moon, Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa celebrated their victory over the Power Rangers. Ex oh, excuse me, my queen, a servant said. I th I th I'm pretty sure it's talking about Finster back there. Excuse me, my queen, a servant said. I think you better look at this. Rita looked into the telescope. Then she screamed in fear. Yeah, this scene. King Mondo was coming. Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed did not want to fight King Mondo and Queen Machina. We can't beat them, Lord Zed said. We'll have to leave. Hurry, Rita Repulsa yelled. King Mondo and Queen Machina are almost here. Lord Zed was not happy, but anything was better than staying to meet the Machine Empire. Also, like, again, staying in very faithful continuity with the show, there's no Goldar or Rito here. And let's take a close look at the background. There's Squat. Zed and Babu dancing around, and way off in the background, is that a putty? Yeah, there's a putty in the background, not a tanga. That's really interesting. And I seem to remember, in the beginning of Zeo, when Rita and Zed are leaving their moon palace, they do have a couple of putties helping them leave. They don't have the tangas, from what I remember. And there's the Machine Empire. This is a really cool illustration of them. They look so cool like this. King Mondo was the ruler of the Machine Empire. He was the worst villain in the universe. Yeah, he sucks. Uh, let's see. He and his wife, Queen Machina, had conquered every planet they found. I will defeat Lord Zed and Rita Repulsa, said King Mondo. Then I will take over the Earth. Don't forget about me, Dad, yelled their son, Prince Sprocket. Of course not, son. The world is ours for the taking, said King Mondo. I'm just going to take a second to appreciate this artwork. Like, holy crap, this is so cool to see. I wish we had artwork like this for other seasons. This is such a cool style. I really like it. Oh, that's a cool shot. That one's not quite as cool a shot, but it's still uh, really good. Back on Earth, Adam noticed something shiny in the rubble. Hey, what's that? It's the Zeo Crystal, Tommy shouted. He picked the crystal up. The Zeo Crystal was a source of great power. The Power Rangers had thought it was lost forever. I guess they, didn't, they don't bother mentioning Goldar or Rito dropping it in this version. What if the crystal was damaged, Tommy? asked Billy. Maybe you shouldn't hold it. So Tommy laid the crystal on the ground. As soon as he did, the crown began to shake. Suddenly, a hole opened and they all plummeted into the ground. Okay, you know what? The only one who really looks off is, uh... Is that Cat? Oh, wait, no, that must be Cat, so this is... Okay, Cat, Adam, Rocky, Tommy, Tanya... Oh, that's Billy. Why does Billy look like Hillary Clinton? 
Like seriously, what what the heck? Why? Okay, whatever. <laughs> I think they drew his hair a little too puffy or something. Okay, oh, and this is a really cool image here. Now, in the actual Zeo premiere, the rangers, uh, once they're underground, they follow this tunnel, and they come to this green thing, and they hear Alpha go, Rangers, step into the vortex! And they all go through, except Rocky. Rocky hesitates. He begins to turn around, and suddenly, an arm reaches out and pulls him in. And here we see that it was Adam. In the actual episode, we don't see who pulled him in. We just see a hand pull him in. So that's really cool that it's Adam just reaching behind him to, to yank Rocky in. That is... I love the face. That's awesome. And Adam's face. He knows it's funny. <laughs> oh, and Tommy thinks it's funny, too. Duh! The Power Rangers found themselves inside the basement of the command center. Up ahead, they saw a glowing green light. Suddenly, a voice they recognized began to speak. Step into the light, it said. They looked at each other. Well, I guess I'll try it, said Tommy. He stepped forward. One by one, each of them followed him into the light. On the other side of the light, they saw the voice they had recognized. It was their old friend, Alpha. Alpha, what happened to Zordon? asked one of them. Is he alright? Of course, Rangers. Oh, okay, it's Zordon. Of course, Rangers, answered Zordon. I'm sorry you were alarmed, but don't worry. We're rebuilding the command center. It will be better than ever. Okay, so in this version, they don't bother uh, trying to pretend that Zordon might be dead. <laughs> like in the episode, Alpha's like, Oh, I'm sorry, Rangers. I should have told you. And then it cuts away, and then it cuts back, and then they finally reveal that Zordon's okay. Whoa. This is really cool. Man, they got the... The artist really got the likenesses down, like, perfectly. I mean, except for Billy that one time. Cat's nose looks a little weird here. Might just be the perspective. Rangers, we have a new evil in our midst called the Machine Empire. It is the most powerful army in the universe, Zordon said. They have some very dangerous weapons, like the robots they call cogs. But what do King Mondo and Queen Machina want, asked Tanya. They only want... They only want... Oh, okay. They want the only thing they don't have yet, said Zordon. They want to rule the Earth, and if you don't stop them, they will succeed. Oh, I love the detail on the back of Alpha's body. They have that little yellow thing. That's so cool. It's so cool. Even, like, from the back, I can tell who everybody is. They did such a good job here. But Zordon, said Rocky, how are we going to fight King Mondo without our power coins? We have a new energy force for you, Zordon said. It is a much strong it is much stronger than the power coins. The Zeo Crystal. Oh, and you can even see like some of the little computer dials there. That's neat. And there's the quadrifighters on the little uh viewing globe or whatever they called it in Zeo. I can't remember what they actually called it. Really nice image of Billy there. That is cool. And all the other rangers there, that is so neat. But with the Zeo Crystal, only five people be can become Power Rangers, said Billy. Since I'm the newest one here, I'll step aside, said Tanya. No, Tanya, Billy said. I've been a Power Ranger long enough. I'm going to stay here at the command center and guide the new Zeo Rangers. From now on, you're a Power Ranger Zeo. <laughs> I'm a Star Wars. <laughs> That's what that reminds me of. Okay, some of this is a little bit awkward, but... For the most part, this is really cool, and it all works really well. Suddenly, the lights started flashing, and an alarm sounded. What's that? said Cat, pointing at the spaceships appearing on the power chamber's monitors. Oh, and we... Yeah, they're already calling it the power chamber, and not uh, the command center. It's the Quadra Fighters of the Machine Empire, said Zordon. They're attacking the Earth. Yeah, like we saw them there. Wow, that's really... Is that the same image? Okay, no, it is different. Okay, cool. With Queen Machina's fingernails on Sprocket's head, it looks like ice cream with strawberries in it, doesn't it? Oh, and they have her fan, that's neat. Oh, you know, I just realized. Machine with a fan to keep her from overheating, I guess. Was that the idea? If that it was, that's really clever. Anyway, I really like these uh, illustrations. These are awesome. Father, the Quadrifighters say the Earth is totally defenseless, Prince Sprocket said happily as they began their attack. And I think there might have supposed to have been another 
text thing here, but uh, there isn't. Oh, and this is really cool. So there's the image from the cover, except bigger, or, okay. So there's a little bit more on the cover, a little bit more here, like on the sides though, okay. And then, oh, and in the back you can see the Mighty Morphin suits in those little container things. That is really neat. And from the looks of it, they even have them in the same poses that they were in the actual show. That is really cool. I'm not going to bother reading this. Cat, you're a Power Ranger ZO1, or ZO number one pink, said Billy. You're a Star Wars. Tanya, Rocky, Adam, and Tommy, you're blah, 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 blah. Moving on. The Zeo crystal f floated over their heads, shining its light on them. Shouldn't there be a, an apostrophe uh, for its? Possessive? Whatever. Billy smiled. Power Rangers Zeo, go get them! The Zeo Rangers looked down at their new power suits, then shouted together, Power Rangers Zeo! They were ready. Look how Tanya's hair completely changed here. <laughs> And then, oh, an action shot. Cool. With the cogs. Zordon beamed the Zeo Rangers to an abandoned construction site. The machine armies, or yeah, the machine empire's army of cogs had just arrived. The cogs looked up to see the Zeo Rangers standing on a platform high above them. We don't have to fight, said Tommy. You can just give up now. The cogs didn't stop. They kept coming. If that's the way you want it, Tommy said. Power Ranger Zeo, he called as they all leapt forward. There were only five Zeo Rangers. There were dozens of cogs. The cogs were fast, incredibly fast, and they were extremely strong. Nothing seemed to tire them out. The cogs were some of the best fighters the Power Rangers had ever gone up against. Okay, just taking a quick look at the illustrations here. Uh, what's going on with this cog's head? Uh huh. Okay, this one has some weird anatomy, but the rest are looking pretty cool. I think that this one in the back here has like a little angry face. Me. <laughs> Zeo flying power kick. But the Power Ranger Zeo are the greatest fighters in the galaxy. No matter how difficult things become, they never give up. Soon, even the cogs realized they were no match for the Zeo Rangers. So there they are posing while there's still a few cogs in the background there. Like, they're not running away. It looks like they're still gonna fight. These ones, though, are jumping through that thingamajig. Oh, hey, was this thing the inspiration for the Invisiportals in, in, Tyn in Dino Thunder? Huh. What was the name of this thing, anyway? Was there a name for this gear that they would teleport through? Heh. <laughs> Love this. Shaking his fist at the Rangers. The Power Rangers Zeo had won. King Mondo laughed bitterly. These Zeo Rangers are worthy of my attention. Yes, said Queen Machina. Perhaps this world won't be so easy to conquer after all. Still, I will beat them some day, vowed the king, shaking his fist. The Power Rangers Zeo weren't worried. They are always ready to protect their planet. And I love that they're even doing the Ore thing. So yeah, this was such a cool book. I really liked going back and revisiting this. This was... like When I found this, I wasn't, I didn't really know what to expect. I was just trying to collect all the different Power Ranger books, and I looked up, oh, okay, there's a couple of Power Ranger Zeo books, cool. So I, like, bought these on eBay and then flipped through them and was just blown away by the artwork, and I really like how, like, faithful it is to the actual episode. This is really, really cool. My only, like, the only real issue with this, and it's not even an issue I have, or I, I don't think most fans would have, is if you were to actually get this for a little kid, and then read it to them, like, yeah, the little kid really needs to be into Power Rangers and know what was going on in Alien Rangers and Zeo to really get something out of this, because as a story on its own, it's not really a self-contained story. I mean, it kind of is. The Rangers get powers, they defeat the bad guys, and it's more like a setup for more things coming, but there's also, like, a lot of, like, continuity baggage, although they do simplify it a bit, cutting out, like, Goldar and Rito's story, and a lot of the other stuff that was going on at the beginning of Zeo, and they don't really bring up the alien Rangers, they don't really go too in-depth with the Zeo Crystal, and 
all that stuff. But yeah, really cool. Definitely recommend it if you're a Power Rangers fan, and especially if you're a Zeo fan. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.